Well, hello, folks, and welcome back to RimWorld. It's the 7th of April, May, and this chromatic Ankylosaurus egg is about ready to hatch, finally. After 10 days... Pretty sure that's how long it was. I'm curious to see what it is. Again, it acts kind of like an anima tree, as far as the radius is concerned, and its focusing ability being hampered by any type of constructed man-made item around. Grimoth has gained a deeper understanding of magic. We'll check that out here in a second. Turn him into an even better priest than he already is. Brandisius calms down. The uh, psychic drone is quite significant. It's a negative 54 m mood penalty. I'm saying maybe I need to like tear down these walls. This last point one is taken forever. Corbin gains a Psylink level. I'm gonna laugh if it can't hatch until it's far enough away from any type of material that could affect its focus rate, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. And tear down the walls around it anyways. It's like, I wanna watch the egg, but I wanna see how progress is coming along on the base as well. So what is this thing? A chromatic ankylosaurus. And the psychic drone is ending. As soon as this thing hatched. Hmm. For some glitter world artists, animals are merely another canvas. It's unclear what, if anything, the artist behind the chromatic ankylosaur was trying to say. Except perhaps that dangerous animals and crazy colors are rad. Okay. Chromatic dino hide take a look at that in a second minimum handling skill of one its eggs go for a ton wow okay just the most beautiful parts of a chromatic dino it's not bad market value as far as hides are concerned 60 hit points, negative 4 beauty. But it has an 800% beauty multiplier when objects are made from it. Okay. Well, let's try to tame this thing. Um, who's my best animal handler? I really don't want to fail this. Rebby. Go tame that thing. I also need to have you convert someone, huh? Who is looking weak in their faith? Helmet Harry, you're not budging at all. There's a few people who only seem to grow stronger in their faith the more we try to push them to join us. The more isolated they are, the more confident they are. And yeah, no one is even close. You know what? I keep... Sometimes I forget to check these things. I forget that it's actually an option. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just let them get back to uh, repairing and building the base. Check Grimoth's magic real quick. It's got two points. We can learn Healing Circle. Hills Friendly Pawns, Bestow Might, Greatly Increased Physical Power. I just don't think that will be incredibly useful. Let's see. Each skill point increases the effectiveness in overcoming a drug addiction, brain injuries, etc. <clears throat> Put a point into that, and as I'm losing my voice... A point to clarity. That way he can recover mana quicker and cast these spells automatically. More often. 
And Corbin, let's take a look at your psi casting chart here. I think you're all the way up to probably skill hack. Yep. And then next will be Strings of Fate. Allows the caster to resurrect a body to near perfect health. However, the intense concentration and psychic stress created from performing this ability will put the caster into a one-day-long coma and induce a crippling amount of pain in the resurrected. It's going to be pretty useful. By the way, I'll see you all shortly, I'm sure. Well, hello, gang, and welcome back. It's the 11th of Aprame. We have tamed a Thrumbo. Tal successfully tamed him down here. Touches a vulnerable body part of Thrumbo 1, demanding obedience. So, yeah, we had some uh, Thrumbos come through. I decided to just try and randomly tame them while people are still repairing the base. Things are looking good. It's been a few peaceful days. There is a little bit more research to do here. We have to construct a research reactor. So we need to build it in a secure, fireproof lab. Well, the unfortunate thing is I don't really have a secure, fireproof lab. Um, I really don't. <laughs> I don't have a building... I mean, maybe I could build one here. Let me see. Rimfeller. Prototype. Neutramine refiner. Question is, where is it? How do I do it? Rim atomics, maybe? That's probably the right one. Let's see. Radiation detector. Can we place near reactors to detect radiation leaks? Is that right? Uh, let me see. I need 200 steel, 400 silver, 35 uranium, 8 components. Huh. I guessed it's size right. Okay. Well. Huh. I mean, maybe I should build a, nu a small nuclear building down here. Marble wall. Marble will probably be fine. Um, yeah, and then eventually I'll move the nuclear stuff down here. Okay. That's gonna wait, because I'm gonna design the that building off-screen. Um, there is news of peace. The Galactic Empire and the Seal Clan have decided to cease all hostilities between them. And there's a skirmish quest out there. Olufemi of the implacable Kadgelo of the Turquoise Wayfarers says that her forces encountered an enemy and went to battle them in an open field. Uh, she has nobody to uh, spare to assist them, but says that if you can make it in time, you'll be doing them a great favor. It's kind of close. I mean, we could probably get there in one day. It's a temperate forest. It's like, do I want... Do I want to send anyone? Kind of getting stuff done here in the colony, actually. This is going to be the rec room. Thought I, I thought about tearing down the wall. And just having it be one big room. But I think I'll leave it like this. Probably going to do something specific with this room. I just haven't decided yet. Instead of tearing out this wall and this wall. Kind of planning things, but not doing doing my best. This thing needs to be flipped around. Kind of fly by the seat of my pants, and just adjust it as I go. So we've got steel bins placed around that will slowly start to clean up filth and dirt. It's not instant. It takes a while, which basically just means you know it, it takes a slight amount of work off from your colonist. But I don't think it makes it so people don't have to clean at all. Which is kind of unfortunate. Honestly. Oil well is about done. 98.7%. Can we can we see it get to 100%? Grimoth has... Yeah. Uh, I found something out. Everybody in the colony 
is considered a might fighter. So people can be either magic or might. Uh, you can be neither as well and just have no aptitude at all. But everyone has a tendency to learn might for some reason. I'm just going to assume that it is a mod that's glitching kind of like I assumed, which is why they have these icons on their pictures up here. Why it says they're a combat class, even though they're not. And also, and there's a secondary side effect to that. Um, I can't actually do a calling of magic. Because everyone is considered already gifted, despite the fact they don't have any abilities. So I'm going to try and find a way to remedy that, but I might not be able to. And the oil well is finished. We get 400 liters per day. I have no idea what well pressure is. Tal is on a shooting frenzy, wants to go on a hunt. My question is, you know, I probably need shut off valves to these things. I'm not entirely sure how this will work yet. Like, this looks like it's automatic. I can't right click and do anything. Reduce power, increase power. Take the power consumption down. Cracks crude oil into chem fuel, which must be stored on connected chem fuel tanks. Chem fuel can be pumped to connected chem fuel hoppers. For now, I just want to store the chem fuel, which is what we will be doing. 400 liters per day. It's going to take a while to fill this up. Fuel usage, 72 liters per day. You know what? Let's just disable this thing for now so that it's not guzzling up any of my fuel. It's kind of exciting though. Let's see, we're in the middle of making a Nutramine refiner prototype. That way we can boost this research project along because once it's done, I'm going to do these tech prints here and get them out of the way. Uh, some tech prints will instantly complete the research for you. And some of them are just like, well, that's step one. Now you still got more research to do. I think there's even some that's like, well, now you got to go find more tech prints. Because once is not enough. Now they can probably go back to building that thing at some point. And I'm actually going to let them get back to it. I will see you all shortly.